Hi, Eric Harless, Head Backup Nerd with Enable, with an update on Cove Data Protection 24.6. In this release, we are introducing an enhancement to the continuity feature standby image. This allows you to delay or schedule the initial VM creation uh, once you add a device into a standby image plan. Uh, this helps to eliminate uh, bottlenecks uh, from restoring multiple machines simultaneously uh, or to reduce resource conflicts. We're also introducing a automatic exclusion of the recovery location paths and executables inside of Windows Defender. Uh, this will help uh, reduce the uh, CPU, uh, RAM, and disk I.O. impact during that initial and subsequent recoveries. Uh, finally, we're introducing several small fixes or enhancements designed to uh, help increase the success of being able to capture a screenshot after a successful recovery and booted system. For partners that are utilizing our M365 backup and recovery capabilities, we have improved the speed in which mailboxes are loading during the Exchange Restore Wizard. Uh, and we have addressed an error related to processing attachments before the parent folder or container was restored. For our Linux partners, we now officially support additional Linux distributions uh, and um, test on those distributions. Uh, Red Hat 789, uh, CentOS 789, uh, Debian 10, 11, 12, and Ubuntu 20.04 and 22.04 LTS are now among the supported distributions. Uh, we've added support for System D, as well as support for the latest uh, 2.39 and 2.4 glibc versions. Uh, finally, we improved the Backup Manager installation process and update experience with Linux in mind uh, to help prevent errors and uh, uh, streamline that deployment. Also in 24.6, uh, we did improve backup performance for Microsoft SQL server environments. Uh, we've optimized memory utilization during file and folder backups up to a factor of 15 in some cases. Uh, we've improved the default exclusion mechanism for files and folders and system state backups to help reduce the frequency of backup errors when coming across files that are open or in use or locked by uh, uh, applications such as Sentinel-1. Uh, that's it for the 24.6 update. Check back regularly as we release new versions. Thanks.